All right, we have some breaking news we want to get to right away from the ABC 15 newsroom. I'm Katie Rammel. We have more evacuations just announced because of the rapidly growing wallow fire. Parts of Springerville, west of Maine, south of 60. Huge uh, developments right now. This just came out at about 2 p.m. today. As you know, that is going to include the airport area, also the Safeway that's over there. It's also going to cancel the community meeting, which was planned for 6 p.m. So once again, west of Main Street, that's starting at the McDonald's right there on the corner, and all the way west, south of U.S. 60 and north of 260. It is time for you to evacuate immediately. Uh, let's get to some progress on the fires. We, we now know that they've lost 11 buildings. It's 607 square miles of forest lost, and there is no containment at this point. You're seeing the airstrikes right there. Let's check in with uh, Rich Dahlquist on how the wind is today, and that'll make us uh, better understand what this firefight's like. Rich? Oh, those winds are just fanning this fire. Look at our current wind gusts. Looking over the White Mountains, we're seeing wind gusts over in Shola at 40 miles per hour. Winslow, 32 miles per hour, and 39 over in the south rim of the Grand Canyon. So winds very strong out there. We haven't seen rain for a long time. All that brush is tinder dry, so it takes a little spark out there. We have a lot of that soot flying up in the air and actually continuing these fires. We do have a red flag warning in effect. Basically half of the entire state winds gusting to 40 miles per hour. That's until 8 p.m. Tonight, the winds will go a little bit calmer. And the good news out there, Katie, is that winds for tomorrow should be calm across the entire state. The bad news is we're going to start to heat up a little bit. But the thing that is uh, fueling all this fire right now is those strong winds. Those should actually decrease by tomorrow. All right. Thanks, Rich. Once again, the evacuation order coming out for an immediate evacuation for the area west of Maine, south of U.S. 60, and north of 260. That includes the area over there by the airport and also the Safeway that's located over there. Of course, all the homes over on 2nd, 3rd Avenue. You all need to get out all the way up to River Drive. It's time to evacuate the area. This fire is moving very fast. Again, we have no injuries to report, but we have lost 11 buildings. Four of those include four cabins that were lost early on in this firefight. 607 square miles is how large this fire is. You just heard Rich speak of the winds there. It's now larger than the entire city of Phoenix. To put that on perspective, of course, thousands of others already asked to leave, already put on standby. Those flames race towards uh, New Mexico Wednesday, and it's uh, triggering even more warnings of possible power interruption. So be prepared for your power to be off as well. The U.S. Forest Service is keeping us updated with the very latest uh, evacuation orders. We will break into programming if it's time for another section to go. But once again, those of you just joining us, west of Maine, south of U.S. 60, and north of 260, that includes the area over by the airport, it's time for you to evacuate this area. We'll keep you updated on ABC15.com, and of course, right here on ABC15, we'll break into programming if anything else happens.